join us and discover beautiful beaches, rugged landscapes, pretty towns, desolate mountain ranges that sweep down to stunning lakes, unique architecture, history and folklore, no shamrocks, no shillelaghs and definitely no shenanigans, just make it Ireland. Ballina, a town in the north of County Mayo, is situated on this mighty river, the River Moy, which is particularly high at the moment as you can see due to the amount of rain that's fallen recently. The Moy leads out to Kalala Bay, the estuary of the river, and into the Atlantic Ocean. Looking at this river, it's probably not surprising that salmon fishing is an important thing here. In fact, there's a salmon fishing festival in July of each year, so if you're an angler, now you know when to visit. It's funny, but I remember visiting Ballina way back in the early 1990s. And one of my recollections was buying a massive whole salmon here and taking it back to Sligo, where we were staying, and cutting it into steaks. The town has a population of over 10,500 people, which might seem strange as it seems particularly quiet here tonight. It's Thursday night. It has the quaint charm of other West of Ireland towns, though I don't think any of the picturesque beauty of the likes of Westport. But that's understandable. While this is certainly a tourist destination, it wouldn't compare with other towns like Sligo or Westport in terms of being a tourist attraction. But many of these less developed towns, for want of a better term, are great places for tourists to see the real west of Ireland, away from the glamour of the tourist trail. It's a town, like many towns in the west, that suffered very badly during the Great Famine. People in Ballina's rural surroundings depended heavily on the potato in the mid-19th century. In 1846, when the potato blight struck, it was a disaster. Starvation was rife, and Ballina hosted a workhouse which served the whole northwestern coast of County Mayo. You can imagine, I'm sure, that these workhouses were not the kind of places that you'd want to enter, except as a last resort. But things were so bad here that huge amounts of starving peasants requested admission. By 1847, almost 90 people were dying of fever every week. Perhaps if you're watching from England, Canada or the US, your ancestors may well have left here in desperation at that time, searching for a new life for themselves. And of course the irony is, we now have people from other parts of the world arriving here for exactly the same reason. This is a pretty scene. Very ordinary houses, but it's amazing how like a paint does the trick. came across Dylan's historic courtyard and what a charming place this is and there were a couple of nice looking restaurants here too one of which I had dinner in it was the usual very generous plate of in this case very nice seafood linguine so Ballina caters well for visitors and I really recommend this town if you're visiting the west This place is destined to become the new Ballina Innovation Quarter. It's the old historic Market Square Barracks and this place has massive potential to transform the town. Please take the time to like and subscribe. It helps such a lot. And you might even want to buy me a pint if you've really enjoyed the film. See the link in the description below on how you can do that. Now Ballina has had a few very distinguished residents, namely former Irish President Mary Robinson and the late Republic of Ireland football manager Jack Charton, who practically had the status of an Irish president at one point. And of course, the great-great-grandfather of this man, the 46th President of the United States. And of course, Joe Biden visited the town of Ballina twice, most recently in 2023. So Ballina, the home of presidents of one sort or another. <laughs>